brothers and sisters of St. Joseph the Worker. On the first day of May, the United States bishops, along with the bishops of Canada, will renew their consecration to our Blessed Mother. And it is in response to the coronavirus pandemic, but it is also, I believe, so appropriate for to be consecrated to her as Mother of the Church. She is here to be just that, a loving mother. Let us then as, as a parish, as a faith community, go to her now as we pray our wonderful, beautiful tradition of the rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now we will say the five glorious mysteries as we celebrate this Easter season. The first glorious mystery the resurrection. The empty tomb on Easter Sunday is a sign of hope for all believers. Let us pray for all who will die during this time, whether from the coronavirus or from a different illness. May God grant consolation to their families and friends as the Lord Jesus consoled Mary Magdalene, and may God protect and bless funeral directors and grave diggers. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards, shaken with fear of him, became like dead men. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Go tell his disciples he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Mary and Magdala ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb. Peter and the other disciples went out and came to the tomb. Then the disciples returned home. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping. Jesus said to her, Mary, go tell my brothers I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary and Magdala announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. His companions, who were mourning and weeping, when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them, walking along on their way to the country. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. While he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. They recognized him, but he vanished. They set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. He showed them his hands and his feet. Thus it is written, that the Messiah was suffered and rise from the dead on the third day. You are witnesses of these things. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus said to I have come to believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world well without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension, and as you notice, this is a scriptural rosary, with all meditations coming from the word of God. The Ascension. Before ascending to heaven, Jesus tells the apostles to go forth and baptize, making disciples of all nations. Let us pray for the Holy Church of God that during this difficult time, she may strive to live this command of Jesus. Let us pray for ourselves that we may strive to live as faithful disciples of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus rebuked them from their unbelief. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Signs will accompany those who believe. 
In my name they will drive out demons. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, make disciples of all nations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He said to them, cast the net. Simon Peter dragged the net ashore full. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner, the fish. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep, follow me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He presented himself alive by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Suddenly, the two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. The Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. 
The Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles while gathered in the upper room. Many symbols are associated with the Holy Spirit, wind, fire, and breath. Knowing the coronavirus affects the lungs, let us pray for those unable to breathe on their own right now, that the Holy Spirit will fill their lungs with the gift of breath, life, and healing. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. When they had entered Jerusalem, they went to the upper room where they were staying. All these devoted themselves in one accord to prayer together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then there appeared to them tongues as a fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed to them, You who are Israelites, hear these words. Jesus a Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs. This man, delivered up by the set plan and for knowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he received the promise of the Holy Spirit from the Father and poured it forth as you both see and hear. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let's think about that one more time. When Peter, he said, This man, delivered up by the set plan and for knowledge of God, you killed using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death because it was impossible for him to be held by it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Therefore, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, brothers? Peter said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off. Remember, the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Peter was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin. At the end of Mary's life, God chose to bring her body and soul into eternal life. Now, Mary prays for us at the hour of our death, as we ask her so often in the Hail Mary. Let us ask Mary to pray for those who are now at the hour of their death. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles, and to the communal life, breaking of the bread, and to the prayers. Many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Peter and John said, It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After their release, they went back to their own people. All were filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Rejoicing that they have been found worthy to suffer the dishonor for the sake of the name. All day long, both at temple and in their homes, the apostles did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Messiah, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. A severe persecution of the church broke out in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and ruler of the kings of the earth, said, Once I was dead, but now I am alive and forever and ever. I hold the keys to death and the netherworld. Write what you have seen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, You have lost the love you had at first. 
Realize how far you have fallen. Oh my goodness. Repent and do the works you did at first. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To the victor, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life that is in the garden of God. To the victor who keeps in my ways until the end, I will give authority over the nations. I will give the morning star. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation says, If anyone hears my voice and opens a door, I will enter his house and dine with him. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on my throne. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The elders said, The time has come for the dead to be judged, and to recompense your servants, the prophets, the holy ones. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fifth and last of the glorious mysteries, the queenship of Mary. Each year we celebrate Jesus as king of the universe. It is quite fitting for us to call upon Mary as queen of heaven and earth. So many are devoted to Mary, her titles and shrines. In this time of pandemic, we turn to Mary's intercession, asking her to obtain from her son the grace of healing for the sick and the containment of the coronavirus. Mary, pray for us. Pray for the sick and the dying. Pray for our clergy and medical professionals. Pray for those who are most in need. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. The dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert, where she had a place prepared by God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In heaven, Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. It pursued the woman, but the woman was given the two wings of the great eagle, so that she could fly to her place in the desert, where far from the serpent she was taken care of. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The serpent spewed a torrent of water out of his mouth after the woman to sweep her away with the current. But the earth helped the woman and opened its mouth and swallowed the flood that the dragon spewed out of its mouth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then the dragon became angry with the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep God's commandments and bear witness to Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Faithful and true, judges and wages war in righteousness. His name was called the Word of God. The armies of heaven followed him. He will rule with an iron rod. He has a name, King of kings and Lord of lords. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. An angel came down from heaven holding in his hand the key to the abyss and a heavy chain. He seized the dragon and threw it into the abyss which he locked over it and sealed so that it could no longer lead the nations astray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. John saw thrones. Those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. The souls of those who witnessed to Jesus came to life and reigned with Christ. Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I, Jesus, sent my angel. I am the root and offspring of David, the bright morning star. Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son by his life has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant that we beseech thee while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray now to St. Joseph, our beloved patron of our parish. Protect, O holy guardian, this our nation. Enlighten those responsible for the common good so that they might know, like you do, how to care for those entrusted to their responsibility. Grant intelligence of knowledge to those seeking adequate means for the health and physical well-being of their brothers and sisters. Sustain those who are spending themselves for those in need, even at the cost of their own safety volunteers, nurses, doctors who are on the front lines in curing the sick. Bless, 
O St. Joseph, the church, beginning with her ministers, make her the sign and instrument of your light and your goodness. Accompany, O St. Joseph, our families with your prayerful silence. Create harmony between parents and their children in a special way with the youngest. Preserve the elderly from loneliness, Lord. Grant that no one might be left in desperation from abandonment and discouragement. Comfort those who are the most frail. Encourage those who falter. Intercede for the poor. With the Virgin Mary, beg the Lord to liberate the world from every form of pandemic. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay with our Mother Mary. Good morning, church, and we say again, happy Easter to you yes. and to yours at home as Amen. we are here to celebrate this fourth Sunday of, of this holy Easter season. Yes. Today we celebrate our Lord as shepherd, yes. and he has fed, is feeding, and will continue to feed us, his flock. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And we are so hungry to to take in, to accept, to be filled with his grace, his goodness, his blessings, yes. his love, yes. and of course his word on today. Amen. So as you watch from your home in your sacred, in your sacred space, in your sacred sanctuary, don't be afraid even in front of a camera just to lift your hands <laughs> as we come Hallelujah. to just magnify our Lord Hallelujah. and Savior. Magnify Amen. And Hallelujah. Lord, Amen. As you come to worship our Lord and Savior Praise this day. Yes. Because we lift our hands yes. in the, the sanctuary. sanctuary. Yes. <laughs> we lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give you the glory. For the rest of our day, yes, we will praise you for the rest of our days. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise, and we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes.
Come on now. God. Those of you at home, come on, lift your hands to God as he is worthy of the praise for the rest of our days, right? As we have come to this holy mass, brothers and sisters, we know that fourth Sunday of Easter is here, but here at St. Joseph the Worker, it is also where we celebrate the spirit of St. Joseph the Worker. And as a parish, we are so glad and honored to bear that beautiful name as we can say to one another and I dare you to tell your person in your house and wave at the camera if you want to and say happy feast day happy St. Joseph the worker happy St. Joseph the worker happy St. Joseph the worker all of the world celebrates with us not only the name of our church but truly a part of who we are we are workers for the kingdom of God yeah. amen so we ask you now to begin with us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We celebrate now this Mass with a, a workman's mentality, but sometimes we didn't want to work as hard as we should. We have gotten maybe lazy or we didn't make the steps we ought to. Let's ask the Lord right now to hear of us our plea for his mercy as we sing and pray. Mercy, 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 
And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Hey, we came to give God the glory and to give God the praise. Let us sing. Glory to God in the highest and on earth of people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace of people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. For God Heavenly King, oh my mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, do you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth the peace of people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth the peace of people of good will. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Right hand of the Father hath mercy. On us. For you alone are the Holy One, for you alone are the Lord, for you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest and on earth the peace of people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth a peace of people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Amen. So we pray. Almighty ever living God, as we celebrate that spirit of St. Joseph who simply did what you asked him to do. Lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, the same heaven where he, he watches and waits for us to come so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, and let God's people say, Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children 
and to all those far off, whoever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me and he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall Spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup it overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years and years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you have gone astray like sheep, 
but you have now returned to the shepherd and the guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good shepherd says the Lord, I know my sheep and mine know me. Hallelujah. 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 My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is, a, is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leaves them out. When he had driven out all his own, he walks ahead of him, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus Use this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated as we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it's so good for us to recognize, even on this fourth Sunday once again, that St. Joseph is always a part of our parish story and a part of our parish song. The story of him is what I call silent but solid. Sometimes you don't got to say nothing. Just do what he asks you to do. And he was a solid man. So he did what God asked without one word ever in the Gospels recorded of what he said. But boy, did he talk by how he lived his life. And his solidness. He was there when they asked him to care for the Savior of the world, what did he have to do? He had to bring him from places of chaos to places of peace. He had to make sure that Mary had a nice steady road to take her from where they were when they fled and then they came back and they settled down. He had to make sure every day, somebody say every day, he had to get up and work so that the family would have bread upon the table. I know there's a brother out there that understands you got to be a St. Joseph in your family. You work day in and you work day out. 
Joseph was solid, but he was silent. And we want that spirit to pervade throughout our parish as well. Where we don't need any plaques, we just want to do what God asks us to do. We don't need any bright star sitting on the billboard of the church. We just need for Jesus to look down from heaven and go, Now that St. Joseph the work in Marrero, they doing what I asked them to do. We don't need anybody to <coughs> show us uh, or how, how to put us on the brightest uh, a star and platform. No, what we need is for, for our humility and our laying down our lives so that God's will may be done. Somebody ought to know what I'm saying at home or right here in this church. I just want to do what God say to do. That's what Joseph was all about. He, he didn't care about uh, wh whether you write his name in the book. He just know if you do God, he'll take care of you. And then he, he was solid in it. And sometimes it gets hard. And sometimes it gets a little troublesome because you want to be solid. But the devil tries to knock your feet around and get you to be some time in, up and down. And that's why we want to pray that we will be consistent, right? That we will be fervent in what God is asking us to do. This solidness and this silence of Joseph is not, however, what the Lord is bringing to us in the message here today. I'd like to leave with you something that I've been praying about in the Holy Ghost, and that is standing by my shepherd. <laughs> I'm going to stand by my shepherd. Now, you know, brothers and sisters, the, the, the imagery, right, the, the, the picture, the, the sense of a shepherd is certainly not uh, akin to folks here in this country. Uh, it, it, it certainly came from agricultural people, a people that, that always had to depend upon uh, a sheep in order to put the meat on the table. It was like having some money when you had some good sheep. Can somebody, you know what I'm talking about. So shepherding was a part of an agricultural people and thereby based upon the people of Israel whom God has his, his chosen people in the Old Testament of course we find that this imagery jumps out right away. All of the chosen leaders of God guess what their job was? A shepherd. Abraham was a what? A shepherd. David was a what? A shepherd. We can, we can keep going down the list, right? That the Lord had this, this, this thing about us understanding what they did of their job, but he used it obviously as a big prism to broadcast who he is. Somebody know what I'm talking about. God will use what people do on earth to reflect who he is, not just in heaven, but while he's down here with us, right? He, he will show us glimpses of him in the everyday, and this everyday was a shepherd. Uh, he, he wasn't just a shepherd because of the money, because it was the most poorest paying job in the world. You didn't get much money when you was a shepherd. God always seems to start off where man would would go last amen because if somebody said well what you want to be a shepherd or a banker you would pick a banker come on now don't even don't even try it you would not be picking the lord always chooses the low to bring out something because he starts at the low and then he goes high right so, so here he, he used an image that was not associated with rich folk he used an image that was associated with the everyday common folk I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad he started with the common folk. Amen. You know, the people that don't have much, but he started there, amen. And somebody here is so glad that God doesn't care how much money you got. He just wants to be all up into you. So here is a shepherd imagery. Here is a, a, a man a, 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 or sometimes a young boy, praise be God, who, who will care for the sheep. And in order to do that job, you could not be weak of heart. You had to make sure that you was always ahead of the game. 
In this shepherding that we see, both in the Old Testament and then the, how its imagery is projected all throughout the New, especially as we heard in the uh, New Testament readings even here today, we know that the, the shepherd has not only the job of staying ahead of the sheep, but he has to make sure that the sheep are brought back when they go astray. Because a sheep, let's think about it, and many of you know about animals, but think about it. The sheep is one of the, the, the least intelligent animals out of the whole animal kingdom. Yeah. Right? It, you, a sheep is not known for a lot of, uh, you know, like, like, like I know where I'm going. No, most sheep don't know. Right. They say that a sheep is led to a shearer, right? A shearer is somebody that is going to take away all their wool, right? If you only got wool and you led to them, like, like, like you just led like, duh. Right? That they used that imagery for that when they pointed to Christ, how he just went and he took everything that God delivered, right? If God delivered suffering, there was Jesus just being led. Right? And, and they said the sheep would also be led like to the slaughter like, like they was going to get a, a bath of, a, 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 of milk or water. In other words, they just went like, uh, I, I guess where I'm going, not knowing that where they're going is a place that is full of danger. Somebody here know where I'm going in a few minutes about that. The sheep just went along because it, 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 it could be easy, it could be led and just go, go where it's led. And he said, and like, a, and like a lamb led to the slaughterhouse, there was you just, just going where God was leading him, right? He didn't fight back. He didn't look back. He didn't go, wait a minute, what you doing? He just went and got led. Yeah. Yeah. And here is that strong image of, of the lamb being, being led. And then we have the lamb who is, is sometimes will, will be so led that it will be so caught up and just eaten, it will go astray. Thereby there is a need for a person who stands and he gets to know the sheep so well so that when he talks, the voice signifies more than a noise. I'm going to say that one more time. His voice isn't just a noise from his lips, but it signifies something more because there's been a relationship between the lamb and the shepherd. So he takes the time and he gets all up in the lambs. He's always around them. So maybe you got to look at those National Geographic documentaries. You know what I'm talking about. He gets all with the lambs. And after a while, the, the relationship is so that the lambs know when they hear his distinctive voice, then they, they know that that's not just any noise, that's the noise of one that they recognize. Yes. Many of y'all know about that? Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Y'all know that there's some sounds that signify and get your attention. You know, like when your mama's voice is different than any other woman's voice. Lord have mercy. When I was playing outside, you know, back in the day, Come on now, somebody help me out. When, when you had to be in the house before the lights went out. Oh, Lord have mercy. Some of y'all young people, you understand, see, there were street lights outside. And when the street light went out, that was your signal to get back in the house. But I was a little bit hard-headed because I wanted to catch the last touchdown. I wanted to get the last home run. So then inevitably what would happen is the street light would go out and all of us didn't want to go home. And we was all in a big cul-de-sac, a, a circle, right? And then when the lights went out, we were like, no, nah, come on, man, we got this, we got this. And sure enough, right in the middle of like the last pitch, like right in the middle of the, the best, the best curveball about the smack right over top of a house, I would hear a voice that was other, like no other voice in the world. I would hear her say my name like nobody else would say it. And she would say it with a ring to it that I still haven't heard just yet. And I'm going to try to mimic it. It would be like, Sydney Oscar speaks the third. In the, in the instant, I went from focusing on a curveball to my, my face just shot to the door of my house. Because I did not have to wonder who that was, right? I knew that that was a voice of the one who has been leading me in my life, right? I knew that that was a voice of somebody that knew me and I knew her. So 
in the same way, brothers and sisters, all I'm praying for you is the shepherd would, 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 would call out commands. He would say things. And the sheep would, would, because if they were astray, he would try to catch them by saying it. And his voice carried in the wind. And it got to the, to the ears. And they, they would, they would oh, they're like, oh, oh, wait a minute. That's, that's, that's my boy, right? Oh, he, call, he calling or something. Right? They would perk up and then he would get them and bring them on back. His shepherding was not just about making sure they didn't go astray. His shepherding wasn't just about being ahead of them as he led them, the whole flock, because you didn't have just a little bit of sheep, you had a whole bunch, right? And so he wasn't just that, but he had to be the one so that when there was a place called the gate, and by the way, we ain't talking about no rich pearly steel stuff that you get down at Lowe's the gate was just an opening where it would raise up enough so that you knew to go in and to go out your gate many times had to be supplied by the shepherd see the shepherd he he would literally lay down I know the camera can't catch me so I'm not going to get on the floor but it, he would lay down the length of the opening so that the sheep knew that the only way they could get out they would have to nudge him and that as he laid there all night long the the the, the wild creatures already knew I gotta get to the lambs but I can't get to the meat that I want unless I got I have to step over the shepherd and that didn't work out amen because you know when you're a shepherd, you, can, you, can, you have those spidey senses. I'm talking to some Marvel comic people out there. You got a, you got a sense where you can smell a wolf's blood. And you can be like, hey! you like, bam! And knock him out. So he laid in front of the gate. So in one sense, he became the gate so that the sheep did not get out. And there was no double gate. Somebody know what I'm about to say. There ain't no double gate. Either, there's one way in and one way out. Wherever you go in, that's the way that you go out. There was no other entrance. It was one, one place and one place only. Jesus was very well aware as a Jewish man of not only this imagery, but he knew clearly that God instituted that imagery for a reason. And here you and I come, right? And, and we have Good Shepherd Sunday, right? And we, we have where we recognize this title of the Good Shepherd. And then we hear Jesus gives these declarative statements. Church, why does God need to declare something? Because maybe there's opposition to what you should know as the truth. Somebody just say amen with me. I'm going to say this one more time, just in case you didn't understand what I'm saying to you. God does not declare something unless he knows that he has to declare it for us who are like some sheep sometimes. We don't have all of our senses. Let me raise my hand because y'all going to act like I'm talking about you. I, I don't always have my senses, so I'm like a sheep. I don't, act, I don't act like I have it all together. So God has to declare it for me because he knows that sometimes I will start using other senses and don't use my right sense. He, he declares it so that to remind you and me in the word of God, I am the shepherd. I am not a shepherd, not one of the shepherds. I am the only shepherd that counts. I, I'm the only one that can lead you out. I'm the only one that can protect you. I'm the only one that will provide for you. I'm the only one that will make sure that you will go where you are supposed to go. Now that declaration, brothers and sisters, that, that sounds really nice. But think about it. It's not automatic. God does not make you declare that he is your shepherd. He declares it, yes. But think about this. Why is it, if it was such a, a definitive statement for you, why do you still let Satan shepherd you instead of Jesus? Why is it that you let sin literally lead you away from God rather than Jesus himself? Let's think about this for a second. You don't want to have Jesus as your shepherd sometimes because you think you got a better shepherd plan than him. 
You, it's things you don't see. It's things you don't understand. So you start reacting. You start using things that has nothing to do with leading for the betterment of your life. And you start doing things against the shepherd's plan. You, you, you start to therefore think that the shepherd don't know you like, he, like you know he know you. Tell your neighbor right now in your house, I know he know me. I know he know me. If he don't know me, who else knows me but the one who made me? Amen. Amen. But sometimes I woke up in the morning and, and I thought, I, I, I think I know a better way to be led. Can I go back? I said, God... I mean, I know you called me to be a priest, but I got a better plan. Let me just be a husband, have about 10 kids, minister to them as a deacon of the church, and I'll be good. God's like, wait a second. Am I your shepherd sometimes, or am I the shepherd of your life all the time? I declared it to you in my word, but maybe... You actually do not want to conform to what it means for me to be your only shepherd. I, I'm challenging you and me right now that if God is truly the shepherd of your life, that means that you don't have any worry because all you got to have is his voice. Because when you hear it, you're like a sheep. You just follow where he say to go. You may look stupid or dumb or you look like you're blind or you, you look like, like you like, you like, duh. No, it doesn't matter what you look like. If God says it, I'm following what he said. If God say go here, I'm going right there. He is my shepherd. I'm standing with him and I'm not budging from where I'm at. Now, when you stand with your shepherd, that means that everything that the shepherd does, you got to do like he does. He made sure to tell you if you are to follow me as the shepherd of your life know that if they persecuted me they will persecute you if you are to follow me if you really are about following what I say you cannot worry about how what I do does not make sense you got to do it because I said it this kind of shepherding by God has been a problem for mankind since the beginning do you see the apostles did not Jesus say to them hey guess what y'all come on now you're gonna have to go with me because I'm about to suffer and I'm gonna rise again remember that and when it was time that it said in scripture and they will strike the shepherd and the sheep will what disperse even Jesus had people did not receive him as his shepherd. They rejected his plan, his desire. Take a look at how you live. Take a look at how, how we walk day and night upon this earth and say, well, Lord, I want to ask myself, am I truly allowing you to shepherd me? Or do I find where you're shepherding does not seem to fit in my logic. It, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't make me feel comfortable or it challenges me every day. Anybody here in Jesus know that there are times where Jesus really just challenges your whole life. He challenges what you think. He challenges how you see it. He challenges your, your responses. And so here comes this good shepherd Sunday, if you will, right? Here comes this moment where Jesus is, is saying something so true but then now we hear listening to him saying, well, wait a minute. You, you provide protection. You provide a pasture, uh, uh, which means, right, you will always feed what I need. You provide this. You provide that. You're there. You're constant. You're, you're not there for hire. You're not worrying about uh, whether or not I pay you back. You're giving me all of this. Why would I throw it away? Why does a church throw it away? Can we get real up in I know y'all don't want me to get real. Y'all don't want me to get real. The church is not even led by the shepherd sometimes because the church has gone astray from what he said. Come on now. Am I the only person to see that up in here? As a whole church community, institutional church, pew church, right? We don't even listen to the very words we just heard. He say, he say I'm your shepherd. We like, well, I mean, that's cute. 
But are we really following? Or are we just kind of playing along? I have to ask myself this question. Father Sidney, are you following? Are you laying down your will? Or are you just playing a game? Is church a game to you? Is this, is this just something that you're just doing out of what they raised you to be? Or have you decided for yourself who your shepherd is? Because the devil clearly wants to shepherd you too. Come on now. He, he wants to lead you this way and that way. He, he wants to try to whisper into your ear. He don't make you do nothing, but he tries to, you know, tempt you here and tempt you there. And next thing you know, you are shepherding by your body. You're being shepherded by your emotions. Somebody raise your hand with me. Your emotions will shepherd you. Your, 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 your circumstances will shepherd you. Some of us will let people shepherd us better than Jesus. We will let what people think. We will let what, what loved ones want. And then we have Jesus say, excuse me, there will come a time where your loved ones will be on the wrong side. Even they won't be with your shepherd. Come on, somebody. There will be times where there, there will be a, a clash between something that looks good, but it ain't good. All of this is to say what? If you and I declare today that we will stand with our shepherd, it reminds me, of that Ben, uh, that, that, uh, look, look at me. I'm not getting my, uh, I'm not getting my composers right, but that's all right. And you know the song, and, 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 and he sings it. And I think Jesus is singing that song too. And he goes, when the night has come and the land is dark and the mountain has crumbled to the sea. I won't cry, I won't cry, no, I won't shed a tear. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. Oh, darling, darling, stand by me. Whoa, stand by me. See, I think Jesus is saying that to you. He said, just stand by me. Stay with me. Don't leave my side. Let trust in my way. Stand by me when it's rough. Stand by me when you're feeling tired. Stand by me when COVID is looking like it's raining over your house. Stand by me. I won't never leave you alone. Stand by me because with you with me, I will lead you to where you need to go. Stand by me. Don't worry about the blood you shed because one day I'm going to glorify you and raise you up again. Stand by me. And I believe I hear you saying at home tonight. I hear you saying it right now this morning. Lord have mercy. Lord, I'm going to stand by you. Jesus, stand by you. I will stand. I will stand. Stand by you. I believe it. I believe it. Come on. I believe it that, 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 that now is a time where all those demons and all those, all those demonic forces and evil things that want to try to get you all away, 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 away. In the name of Jesus, you are claiming that your family and your, your people right now, we are standing with the shepherd. The one who will lead me, who will protect me from danger and harm and from, and from foul. And from, yeah, I will stand with him because when I do, oh, he will take me to pastures. Did not Henry sing it? That, that, that I, I will walk through dark valleys, but I don't fear no evil because my shepherd is with me. He will anoint my head with oil. My cup just keeps running over and running over. And one day, one day, he'll lead me to a place where I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That ain't just a psalm. That's your life. That's your life. You are singing that, that psalm. You are living that psalm. And you and I know that if we stand with God, especially in this country right now, in all the crisis, right, uh, all, all, all of the troubles and ails, uh, we, we, we ache here in New Orleans in the archdiocese and knowing the, the things that are, that are happening and, and everybody, you know, oh my goodness, what are we going to do all this morning? Oh, Father, it's horrible. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. You know what? I'm tired of bad news. I want some good news. 
You know the good news I want? Is the one that God proclaimed over my life long time ago. He said that I shall never leave you nor forsake you. If you think that what's going on in the Archdiocese of New Orleans is bad news, you forgot the good news that Jesus said, and they will try the gates of hell to go against the church. And guess what? I will always win. It may look bad, but guess what? The church will always be here. We will persevere. We will come out of this. We will come on the other side. You want to know why? Because God's word ain't for the faint of heart. God's word is real and it's active. And you ought to believe it and I ought to believe it right now. I don't know when COVID will be over, but I do know one thing. My father don't lie to none of us. And thereby, I want to stand with my shepherd. I have left him. But I want to stand with my shepherd. I have other people that want to shepherd me. There's only one that he knows me and he, I know his voice. So let us together stand with him who has never left us alone. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We invite you to take a moment to rededicate your very life at this very hour. Wherever you are, wherever you're listening, wherever you're watching, to say to the Lord in your heart, Lord, you are the shepherd of my life. There's nobody else. I dare you to tell him. I dare you to express it. I dare you to reveal to him. In case you didn't know Jesus, you are it for me. I don't want nobody else. I don't need nobody else. It's you. That you proclaim that your shepherd will rule your life and is ruling your life at this very moment. And as we give it to him, as we lean upon him, who is shepherding this very church, who shepherds me and all of my craziness, Lord have mercy, that he shepherds this parish and leading us to where we must go. We invite you now, as we have pondered just what God is saying, as we stand to profess our faith together, and so we say it humbly, but as a people, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of... I'm so sorry. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now... We offer our petitions to the Lord as we bring them before him. And our response together will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to give them strength and grace in proclaiming the truth, especially Archbishop Amen and Bishop Cherie, as they go forward with our diocese in this time and for them to proclaim that truth fearlessly, we pray to the Lord. For our national and local leaders, especially our president and his cabinet and staff and all those working for the WHC and the CDC and all those 
who are leading us through this COVID crisis, may God grant them wisdom in carefully addressing problems that face their and our communities. We pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, may God bless him with continued health, vitality, and wisdom in his ministry. We pray to the Lord. For those who suffer from any addiction, Lord, may the hope of resurrection in Jesus give them strength in their pursuit of healing. We pray to the Lord. For those who harbor resentment or ill will toward others, may the Holy Spirit Bring them consolation and lead them in reconciliation with one another. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, especially those affected by the virus, may God bring them comfort, love, and healing. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are working on those front lines, those, those hometown heroes, those EMTs and nurses, those uh, medical professionals, those doctors and surgeons, and, and all those who are joining in the effort to care for those who are not feeling well, that they will be strong, they will be healed if they've been affected, that they will be given encouragement and strength, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who don't have a job, that they will persevere as we celebrate St. Joseph, the work of spirit, that we may ask that jobs will come aplenty, even right now, that there will be opportunities for those to gain employment for their homes and for their lives. We pray to the Lord. We want to especially pray for those who work for the Archdiocese at this time. As this reorganization happens, that they who have been affected, those who are hurting, that they will find themselves uh, their, their recompense, their sources of income for them and their families, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, especially those that were taken away by the coronavirus, may they be received into eternal happiness with our Heavenly Father, we pray to the Lord. For those of whom this Mass is being offered, for Lawrence A. Nicholas, James M. Jones, William Haas, Harold Charlotte Jr., Tori Lynn Guidry, Clifton and Francis Dufresne, Joseph and Francis Bertucci, in memory of Lucy Bertucci, Geraldine Alsobrooks, Sonny Bro, Irene Hill, Joanna S. Stansberry, Courtney, Courtney Edna Allen, Aisha Regis, Rose Alexander, Herman and Bernice Green, Agnes O. Wade, Clifford Nicholas, in memory of their birthdays, Dorothy Manny and Cecilia Sweetie Ellis, in memory of her 80th birthday, Juanita Banks. In memory of their wedding anniversary, Walter Paul Sr. and Clara Carson LaFrance. For the repose of their souls, Tommy Williams, Ruth Sachs, and Jesse Boyd. We pray to the Lord. For all the prayers, we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions, both spoken and unspoken. We pray to the Lord. Oh Lord, as we come to, to you with the intercession of Our Lady of Palm Sucker, with the intercession of our beautiful patron, St. Joseph, that we know our wills can lead us sometimes astray. But let our wills bend and cooperate and be laid low so that yours may be done that we trust in thee right now. We ask all these things in the name of Christ Jesus, the Lord, and may all say, Amen. And now, brothers and sisters, as you know, we've come to this beautiful moment where we bring our gifts to the altar, but we ask that you bring yours to God. That as you see on the bottom of your screen, certainly to give accordingly to our PayPal account, which you click that on and you'll get it. But for those of you, you can bring it to the rectory, you can mail it in. My goodness, you can call me and I'll come to your house. Lord have mercy. Listen, we all are here together. And whatever you give, it will be prosperous and it will bless all of us. So we thank you already in advance for the generosity that has been pouring into our church. 
And as we continue, let us now have our offertory as we prepare our altar for sacrifice. my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church grant we pray O Lord that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewed renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord, let the church say, Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. An integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy. Holy Lord God of all, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. Blessed is he 
gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, bless, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have saved us Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to us to reconcile us to yourself so that grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you and your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him. 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And now I invite everyone to choir, certainly Miss Leslie, our lector, our altar servant. Let us stand together. And for those of you at home, let us stand as we proclaim and sing the prayer our Lord gave us. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be, hallowed be thy name, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, give us this day our daily bread, our daily bread. And forgive our debts as we forgive those who trespass against us. Who trespass against us. And lead us not, and lead us not into temptation, into temptation but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, for the kingdom, and the power, and the power, and the glory are yours, are yours for now and forevermore. For now and forevermore. Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Of course, to all here and of you at home, may we now share with one another a sign of God's peace, an elbow kiss or something to give the peace of God. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace be with you. And now with that peace, as we know, in our hearts that we've shared, let's ask the Lord now to receive us as he is that Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away. 
the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the Behold, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Now, we do invite for those of you at home to make your act of spiritual communion. We know that although you're not able to have him in your hand or on your tongue, your hearts now may be open to receiving him spiritually in your hearts. So we invite you to join now with those of us here in the church as ministers to come and come to the Lord and receive him.
Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. As we have known of his shepherding, what a beautiful ministry of our music singers and praise team to remind us that God is here to lead us. Yes. He will feed us his flock yes. Yes. like a good shepherd. Good shepherd. Yes. So we invite you now to please stand with me as we, if you're able to, as we have our closing prayer. Lord, Thank you for being the good shepherd, always feeding us your flock, always being faithful to what it means to shepherd us. Look upon us, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever, and let God's people say, Amen. At this time, I like to address the entire parish and of course all of you for not just an announcement but I want you to know that as you have already heard in case you did not Archbishop Amen as the shepherd of our diocese our archdiocese declared an announcement this morning that the Archdiocese will be filing for chapter 11, which is placed in the courts for the Archdiocese to be under a form of bankruptcy. Now let's make sure we make it clear. It is not that the Archdiocese is now being closed. It is not that its parishes are affected even by way of finances in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to say that one more time. Our finances of St. Joseph's the Worker Church is not touched or affected by the Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing. It is for the administrative offices that are to be reorganized in a very drastic way. In doing so, it is preventing for us to being in a worse state down the road. Sometimes you got to make choices now to help you for later. The Archbishop in making this move understands that there may be a general concern or panic and I just want to give you something and I hope Mr. Rogers can can focus on my hands breathe it's okay we all right we will get through this we will get on the other side of this it will only last a year, we believe, and I want to read to you uh, just the last part of his letter. Filing for chapter 11 does not mean the Archdiocese of New Orleans is closing, and we will certainly continue to pay our bills responsibly. This only affects the Archdiocese and administrative offices and will not affect the individual parishes, their schools, schools run by the various religious orders or ministries of the church. Rather, this will allow for our administrative offices to continue and by the grace of God emerge better prepared for the future. Very importantly, Taking this action will allow us to address remaining clergy abuse claims, all of which stem from allegations dating back several decades ago in a way that will allow funds to go directly to victims. No money from parish collections, collections will be used to resolve any clergy abuse cases. Parish funds are separate from archdiocesan accounts and the pastor decides how those are used for parish ministry. Through prayer and reflection, I believe that the path, this path will allow victims of clergy abuse to resolve their claims in a fair and timely manner. Amen, church. Amen. So we ask your prayers as we will pray collectively in your homes, offer a special prayer for the archdiocese, for we as an archdiocese, for those administrative offices, 
we, we, we cannot ignore the fact that we have uh, of our own several, right, Alicia Bloodsworth, who serves faithfully with the Office of Black Catholic Ministries, Dr. Rennell Houston as superintendent of Catholic schools. These are individuals that clearly we, we want you to know our hearts are with you. And knowing that this is going to be a, a, a difficult reorganization, but a very much needed one. Now, with that being said, which I will also post on our email blast, it will also be posted on our website page so that you may understand any FAQs, right? Any frequently asked questions about what this chapter 11 means uh, so that uh, we want your hearts to be at peace. Uh, the other thing is some great news. Can I get some piano, like, dun 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 dun? Yay! We got great news. Monday, last Monday, the Archbishop has now said that we are an essential service, and now we are able to have public masses. Yay! <laughs> so, what does that mean, St. Joseph the Workup? Well, we're going to explain it all to you later, but basically, 10 people only at a time can be at a mass, as opposed to now, uh, that was not allowed, except just for ministers. So we're thankful that we at St. Joseph's Worker, like many other parishes actually, we are going to extend more masses, and we will make sure to explain to you where or how do you sign up, because you have to sign up. Church, you can't just walk in, okay? You can't just pull up your car and say, I'm here. You have to sign up first on the computer, which we will give you uh, where to do that and how to do that. And then we will certainly check. The name will be uh, at the door. I hate to sound like a club, Lord have mercy. But yeah, come in. We'll check your name and, and, and come on in. Ten at a time. We're going to have four masses instead of two. So we're going to have three masses on Sunday. And, the, and we'll have the mass on Saturday. So all of that we will uh, look out on the website. Look out on the website. You will see all the description and what we'll do. And, and by the way, we will live stream, is what we like to do, is live stream the 10 a.m. mass. So that's what we were looking to do. But we'll give you details as we go forward. That is a big announcement because that begins on Mother's Day. That's next Sunday will be our first mass in here. And uh, certainly we, we look to it to increase as the restrictions will go. So that's by way of the Archdiocese and we're implementing it as best we can. Uh, we also know that the month of May is here and we celebrate our Blessed Mother. And I am looking forward to presenting to you Mary and the Word of how the Word of God and the Blessed Mother is, is affirmed so much of who she is. So that will begin uh, May the 6th. And uh, that will be a tremendous Bible study uh, presentation and evening. Uh, and we'll continue that throughout the month of May. So tune in for that. May the 6th, 6.30 will be our Mary and the Word Bible study. And then we'll follow it with more Bible study. And hopefully by that time, we would have grown past restrictions. I'm going to claim that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, so that uh, soon we will be uh, back to normal. But we're going we're gonna to claim that in Jesus. I do want to tell you that our seniors uh, are looking to having a big celebration uh, as we have graduations coming up, right? So uh, look out on the website, Facebook. You'll see the flyers as our tough ministry, our CYO, our teenagers are planning a, a senior luau on the 31st of March and uh, a drive-by in June. My goodness, we're going to be doing a lot of lifting up of our seniors uh, in this 2020 uh, year. Um, we also have other things that are coming. I don't want to bombard you. I do want to say to you for Mother's Day, we will have, like Palm Sunday, we had a table of, of great things for all mothers. We're going to have that out for Mother's Day as well. Just a little treat from us at St. Joseph of the parish to say, Happy Mother's Day. And I'm going to say this to you right now, in the Spirit of God, right now, hallelujah, right now, right now. Every family, just like you did Easter, although a lot of you didn't do it, but come on now. On Easter Sunday, 
I want you to put up not only the pictures of your living mothers, but I want you to post pictures of your mamas who are in heaven. It's called heavenly mamas. I got a two grandmothers up there. I got a great grandmother up there looking down at me saying, hey. So put your pictures of the mothers of the living and the mothers that we remember and know so well. Because we want to see them. We want to give honor to them. Please give us their names and their pictures that we just want to fill our media and let everybody know we celebrate next Sunday a beautiful Mother's Day. So that will be Mother's Day celebration, your treat. You'll come by. We'll give you time to do that and post your pictures. So I'm excited about Mother's Day. I'm excited about our Blessed Mother who is here with our beautiful statue. Uh, and, and I know that, you know what, this is crazy. I mean, let's just be real. This has been a crazy time. But I'm so glad all of you have kept me sane. You kept me sane just by your love and, and your, your fidelity to our church, uh, even through these uh, times that are dark but the Lord is uh, with us amen uh, Miss Alice Compton by the way passed and we celebrate her funeral today so you want to remember Miss Compton she was a tremendous parishioner of St. Joseph the Worker and I know you know, I'm forgetting that Sunday today is Sunday to you uh, but anyway she was buried on Friday okay okay so it added up and just say uh, I got a crazy priest uh, leading my church but we want to pray for the Compton family right now as, as they uh, are in uh, grief and to, to lift them up at this time, uh, knowing that uh, these days uh, may be difficult. So uh, Tracy and your brother and your family, we just want to let you know our hearts go uh, to you. Let us please come to our blessing. Oh, as the tradition goes, right? I've started a tradition. Can we give a praise to God? We have had the blessing of Miss Judith serving us as an altar. Hey, Miss Judith, thank you. Come on, give it up for Miss Judith. And we had the blessing of Miss Leslie Bourgeois. She gave us the word of God. Thank you, Miss Leslie. Amen. We, we thank God for the great music ministry of St. Joseph the Worker Church. Amen. Led by Henry Bishop Washington. And, of course, for Joffrey on the keyboard. And all of those who are soloists, but they, they blend together. They're so good. That choir, that praise team. And, of course, for Miss Shanae Washington and Mr. Rogers of Dream Forward Marketing, thank you for all that you do to bring us this video every single day week hey next week remember we're live streaming next week we can't wait so tune in remember wednesday friday will be holy daily mass and we will celebrate that as well the lord be with you and may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit Amen. the mass is ended hallelujah hallelujah thanks be to god hallelujah hallelujah Come on, everybody, put your hands together. Come on.